Do you remember only a few decades ago, we were using floppy disks that had no more than three or five megabytes of capacity storage? Like the size of a photo that you can take with your phone right now. But these days, we're using hard disks of a few terabytes, and it's so normal. Like a million pictures of the same size in only one disk. You can see the information burst already, and it won't stop here. It will keep going. Once we have this information, we need to share it with the rest of the world. And internet is one medium to do so. Fiber optics have proved to be the best system to transmit this information. In fact, as you can see in this picture, the fiber optics, the yellow lines, are the backbone of internet all over the world. Can you believe that there are more than 25 million kilometers of optical fiber lines all over the planet, which is 60 times, 60 times greater than the distance between moon and earth. Also, uh, all the advantages that they give us, despite all of them, they have their own setbacks. My name is Saber, and I'm working on one of those major setbacks with my supervisor, Dr. Shiva Kumar. We have proposed an interesting new idea, and we proved it to be very successful. However, we need more work to do. If we succeed, we will be able to transmit more information through this fiber in one second, which will increase the speed of the internet. And we also will be able to use much cheaper devices in our systems, so the whole system will be much cheaper. So what we are doing not only increases the speed of the internet, but also decreases the cost of transmission. So isn't it just amazing? Thank you.